Hey everybody, it's Party Leap back with some more Imperator Rome action for today. Diving in as the Iceni, of course, as Icenia. I'm still still not 100% sure about how to say this. Um, but we are on the British Isles, looking to take over the British Isles, and this session should be a pretty tense one, actually. The last one was pretty action-packed. We fought a couple wars, and we took over a fair bit of land. Uh, we've grown to a fair size, and as a result of that, our aggressive expansion is pretty high. We did manage to quell some unhappiness, and everyone is happier with us, though at the cost of... Uh, output being reduced significantly across the board thanks to local autonomy, but people are relatively loyal, in some cases barely loyal. It's on the up and up though, and so this session is going to be a very interesting one I think in the sense that we're going to spend some time ensuring that people are happy, we're going to spend some time preparing for our next war, and we're going to spend some time allowing aggressive expansion to drop. So. What I'm thinking of doing, actually, very soon, is, uh, well, of course, continuing my expansion, but uh, again, like I said, in between sessions, I like to look around and, and gauge my options and stuff, and then go over them with you guys uh, at the start, or at the top of a uh, of the next session. Now, here's the thing. I'm in a bit of a uh, bottleneck. I'm, I'm, I'm a little pigeonholed, and here's why. My enemies, my potential enemies, are many. I've got Coritania here, but unfortunately... They're allied with Brigantia, which is a rather large force to the north there. And between the two of them, they've got 17 and 20 cohorts. Right now, Brigantia is at war with a few different parties, uh, primarily up north over here. They're helping take care of this Damnonian revolt. They're helping take care of Olucia. I don't know what these guys are trying, honestly, but hey, it looks like they're actually expanding their holdings. Um, so they're preoccupied right now. There's a bit of an opportunity there. Over here as well, Decanglia, they are also allied with Brigantia, and again, Brigantia is distracted, so these guys are an opportunity as well. Down south, things are a little bit more hairy. We've got, uh, well, if we look at Dubunya, who was our first enemy, you know, we, we took a chunk of their land. If we look at Dubunya, who right now I'm wishing I just eliminated completely, they are not only allied with Durotriga, Demetia, and Trinovantia, but they're also in this defensive league with uh, the same parties. Uh, the reason why that matters. Now, in this case, it doesn't really matter because it's the same three, but that means that Demetia, though they're only allied with Dubunya, they're also in that same defensive league. So I'm in a bit of a situation down over here where they're all buddy-buddy and on the same side, and Dubunya obviously does not like me. Yeah, so that's a little rough. Down over here, though, Cantiasia, they're allied with Trinovantia and Morinia. Morinia is actually down over here, so... I don't know how easily they'll be able to make it over. I don't know how many boats or anything they have. None. Okay, so we should be fine with that situation. That we would be going to war with Trinovantia if we did that, and we do guarantee them. We also guarantee Cantiacia, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we can't go to war with these guys. We also can't actually, if I recall correctly... Oh no, I can go to war with Demnonia, right? They they, they screwed me, right? Okay, so Demnonia and uh, Ordovicia are my real options for going to war with anybody. The thing is, if I were to declare war on Demnonia, they would be with... Oh, no. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. This is something I, I must have must have slipped by me because what I realized was that Ordovicia, and this is what my plan was, I was going to fabricate a claim on Ordovicia's one little territory over here and use that claim to declare war on them, but obviously drag uh, Demnonia into this war as well. And then I would not only take this little territory, but I'd also try and force Demnonia to become my subject. Um, that way, I would avoid getting too much aggressive expansion, and I would uh, still gain something out of it. Uh, I am able to, uh, I can offer feudatory status, but no one's going to actually accept that on these isles, not yet at least. So, that's my plan. Hopefully, we're going to be able to execute that this session. Uh, at least that's what I'm going to build to words. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to play it on maybe 3-4 speed over here as this fortress gets built, as our troops replenish, as we get more manpower, as our economy continues to do rather well, I think, for our holdings, and uh, as we continue to reduce aggressive expansion. And then hopefully we'll dive into this war before the session is up. Now before I kick time off, I just want to mention really quickly that if you have been enjoying this series and you would like to see more Imperator Rome on the channel, the best thing you can do is drop a like and a comment down below. I really do appreciate it and it really does make a big difference because it tells me what you folks are more or less interested in. So don't hesitate to do that as we kick time off and hopefully nothing blows up in my face. What's this? Okay, these, it's, it's Demetia being uh, not so loyal, but they're on the up and up, so we'll be fine. 
We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just got to wait until we get enough oratory power so I can actually fabricate a claim over here. Again, it costs 181, so there's some time yet before I can do that. Another thing I want to keep an eye on is morale. I Numbers might not be the only way that I can bring victory to myself, uh, especially as I go into war. You know, like when I declare war on Ordovicia, let's see here, actually. Their morale is 0.62, so they are not spending all of their money. Uh, like, they're, 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 they're... Expenses, sorry, their army maintenance is low, which is why their morale is so low. That means that when we go to war, they're going to start paying their army properly, and that's going to drop their morale bar all the way down as well. That means that this 12,000 is actually next to nothing, because we can very quickly wipe it out. And uh, because they're kind of locked in over here, uh, they shouldn't be able to get away and, and get any work done or anything. And down over here, unfortunately, we have no vision. I believe we have our ships over here. We can send our ships down here and see what the deal is here as well. Again, uh, Damnonia is in a bit of trouble because they're currently at war with Dobunya as well as Judotriga. I am concerned about being dragged into that war. Oh my god, there might be no uh, Damnonia left soon. Oh my god. <laughs> they are not having a good time here, are they? Let's go ahead and do a proper scouting over here and, and just see what's going on. Oh dear, Judotriga, you guys are... Well, at least you're taking a beating. Somewhat. That was only 8k over there. 8.6, I think. These boats are proving quite quite helpful in at least the scouting over here. That's just mercenaries. Okay. And I do believe... Oh. Sneaky Demnonia here with the 5k trying to move in. And actually almost... Ah. <laughs> they just lost the numbers on that siege. They need 5k. Must be a level 1 uh, tower over there. Oh, sorry. A level 1 fortress. All right. Let's pull the navy back and see what's going on over here. I'm rooting for uh, Demnonia here, for the record. I want them to win so that I can vassalize them, essentially. Because, uh, again, dragging someone like Dabunya or something into war, that'll be a bit more of a challenge. This is not good. This is not... Between Jurotriga and even... Yeah, and Dabunya here. They've got the 1.8k here. Yeah, this is not good. We're no longer importing cloth. But why? No, no, no. I need cloth. Pull it down a bit. Hey, 4th of October. Very special day for me. Um, why can't we get cloth? What are you, what are you guys doing? Why are you, why are you, why are you guys doing this? I need the extra tax. As you can see, my, 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 my financial situation is not as good. Ooh, a petitioner approaches. A mature individual by the name of Viridorix Akis approached our tribal chief in private this morning. In a hushed voice, he spoke of a vision of the near future, in which he was found by his loved ones, having been crucified by zealots. Holy crap, that turned dark really quick. I thought that was going to be sweet. With shaking hands, he offered all his worldly goods to the state in return for our protection. Ooh, ooh, ah, okay. Um, how awful. We shall take good care of him. Right now, we're running at a deficit, so I will take the money and I will protect him. Not going to use my oratory power. I mean, I'm not going to... As much as I'd like to gain that oratory power, I'm, I'd rather gain that money. The vagaries of state. While the clan council was in session this afternoon, a little-known woman by the name of Villariga stood to give a rousing speech on the subject of religious holidays. While her argument was ultimately unsuccessful, many heads were turned by the beauty of her oratory. Perhaps this is someone we should keep an eye on. Troubling? How's that troubling? That sounds good. That sounds like someone we should uh, actually get along with. Hmm. I don't like the friends you run with. Unlike the friends you run with. Seek treatment? What are you what are you what are you ill with? Infection. Okay. Right, we're just about with enough oratory power. Again, it's all about that aggressive expansion. Oh, what is this? They've actually thrown no. <laughs> this is over. This war is over. These guys will quickly look for new allies, I think. So if I want this territory, I'm gonna have to go to that war soon. Very soon. Let's go ahead and get set up for it actually. Get you all up over here. What's the supply over here? Eleven. And what's our actual got two armies here. Oh, they're both, okay. They're both our, um, our tribal chiefs' armies. So I don't really care if they're gonna suffer from attrition, if I'm honest. Alright, we're good. They're not suffering from attrition. Great. So this should not be a problem. Low morale, 16k. We'll be fine. Oh, and would you look at that? Jirotriga has just swallowed that entire tract of land. The Bunya, you got screwed out of a deal there, buddy. You got screwed out of a deal. Now, these guys are gonna probably look for a new ally, and I cannot allow them to get one. 181. Oh boy. Just a couple of months. Just a couple of months. 
Just a couple of months. Let's see if there's a trade route available for us for anything. Grain, sure. Let's go ahead and get grain. From Jurotriga, sure. It'll help with our population growth, and God knows I need that. I need the pop growth so I can start getting some more citizens, so I can actually start making some uh, research progress, because we are doing terribly on that front. All right, don't you dare get another ally, Ordovicia. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I need to declare this more quickly. Surely they saw my, my movements here. Still not upping their morale or anything. All right. One more month after this one. Oh, if they do get bad winters here, do they? A couple citizens here. A couple freemen. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. A worthwhile take as well. Yeah, this won't be a very long or arduous war unless they immediately make some allies as soon as I declare my claims. Okay, 1st of March. Let's go ahead and fabricate claim. Thank you very much. And what is this? Sinatus the Polymath. From mathematics to language, science to botany, Sinatus Morganus is a dab hand at it all. Forever willing to learn new disciplines, he mixes in every social circle and impresses them all. Nice, okay. Polymath, eh? Wow. I wish that were more helpful for me. <laughs> Our citizen output's buffed up. Too bad we don't have that many citizens. Okay, you know what? Actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> we, we have more citizens than I expected. Alright, 3rd April, we get to declare war over here. And yes, it'll trickle my aggressive expansion up a little bit, but uh, I don't want these guys to ally with someone bigger up there. That would be scary. Alright, there we go. Time for... Or... Whoops. War. With you, take Demetia. Yes, I believe that's what I will do. Confirm that. They're going to up their morale? No? Okay. You're well within your rights to not. I want to make sure their fortress stops capturing all of my stuff. There we go. Now they up their morale. Can we actually send you up that way? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Our numbers should be more than enough, especially when their morale is so low. They'll try running away, but I'll shut that army down right away. Okay. Come on, 11k. Why can I not... Oh, they're going to arrive separately. That's fine. It says we're going to win this, I believe. I believe we're definitely going to win this. Okay. Quick fight. Blow it down, and let's send only you over this way. I want to intercept them before they're able to get uh, their morale too high up. Because you can see we wiped... I think we wiped that entire army out. Yes, we did. Hey, okay, just got to get this interception in. Maybe send you out as well. Ah. Let's go, let's go. Not a problematic army or anything, but... Just if I can cut it down to size early, I'd rather do that. Almost done over here. Probably pointless. Once this fortress is taken, we'll be fine. Let's go. Up there as well. We're not going to need the reinforcements. Yeah, we're not going to need the reinforcements at all. Let's go ahead and watch this fight go down. I like seeing a nice overwhelming battle take a couple of good thwocks and, and just end. There we go. Come on. One. Two. There we go. We are victorious. Let's try and cut these guys off. Not sure where they're going to be heading. But I want to try and cut them off. Oh, really? You're going to go there? These guys are screwed. There we go. That's that. I need... I need some more troops down there, unfortunately. Go ahead and send you down. There they go. It's all their armies. Now, you'd think, with that done, they just accept that it's time for peace, but... What, what are you guys trying? <laughs> Dubunya and Demetia declared war on them as well at the same time. It's like, you're not going to get anything here. I'm already making my moves. Definitely glad I did it, though. Definitely glad I did it before Demetia could. Why are you going all the way up there? Are you not loyal to me? Uh, I guess I could exalt her, or I could bribe her. You know, we've got the oratory power. A little bit of corruption isn't the end of the world. Again, when the loyalty gets low, they just stop listening. They do whatever the hell they want obviously not good. Alright, this shouldn't take too much longer. Once that's done, we'll have finished, uh, at least we'll have got rid of this little pockmark here. The two of our tribesmen have come forward today to ask for help settling ownership over a gold amphora they found. 
Okay. Uh, uh, Lu Luterius, Lu Luterius Acus believes it belongs to him, as he was the one to find it, whereas Brennus Ocunus says it belongs to him, as it was discovered on his land. All right. So one of them is already not very loyal. Hmm. It belongs to Icenia. Uh, no, don't want to go with that one. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and allow Brennus to get it because he's not very loyal. Uh, Lactarius Acus is loyal. It's it's funny how this works, isn't it? It's like the loyal person here is getting screwed despite being loyal because I want the other person to be loyal. Ain't that life for you? It belongs to Brennus Acunus. There we go. Please, everyone except for the person who deserves to be pleased. Let's go ahead and take the... Oh, is that why my money is dropping so significantly? The Blessing of Lugus, I think, makes most sense, because we're commerce-based right now. So, yep, let's go with that. Make that money, and hopefully, at 7.07, .07, we'll pop on up to something a lot more juicy. Hey, tax money, 420. Nice. <laughs> nice. Hold on a second, I need to check something. But first, I want to see if that how high that number picks up. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, what? Ah, okay, no. Leather. <laughs> I, I was wondering if it was hemp over here, because that would just be perfect. Now, what happened here? There is two Coritanias. What in the what? Oh, that's so funny. They've like, that's weird. Oh, this is good. Civil war will break out at Coritania in 11 months. Uh, if I can win this war in that time and turn my attention up there, that would be brilliant. Low on manpower over here, which I don't like. This is unfortunate that I have to lose people to attrition in this battle or in this siege, I should say. Hopefully the siege will be over sooner rather than later. Come on, like tick up faster. Oh, wow, that was big. That was actually really big. Order of assault. No. Not a good idea. But, yes, if there's a civil war here, and they start struggling, that could be really good. That could be a really good frame. Because this basically means that... Hold on a second. Brigantia, you're no longer... <gasps> oh, baby. They're no longer allies. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. All right. This is great. Uh, I just need my oratory power to get higher, and then we can actually take over Coritania. Damn it. Well, I'm definitely glad I did Ordovicia first, because otherwise, uh, Demetia here would have taken them. It's crazy how quickly things change. And now, okay, these guys are still friends the same way as they were before. Fair enough. They're coming in to, what, help me in this war or cause more attrition? Back up, man. Back up is mine. Well, at least these two armies have recovered to full strength. Let's go ahead and push to the border here. Push to the border down here and push down here. The thing is, the siege is won. Excellent. Uh, what I was going to say is that... First of all, let's go ahead and make this money. Wow, it's not going to affect our aggressive expansion. I like it. Okay. Boom, just like that. Another war over. Uh, we are going to try and reduce our aggressive expansion. I mean, it didn't affect our aggressive expansion at all. I could up my popularity instead. No, banish those of class, put the rest of the sword. Might as well work at that because I would like to very much um, work on this as soon as possible. Get you to join up with the army here. Right? And so the thing is, my fortress over here will actually capture these two cities. And my fortress over here will capture this city, but it'll fight with this fortress for, for, um, for, like, power over that. Now, what's the fortress level over here? Okay, one. So I just need 5,000 people there. Stars of War. The signs of the stars have been clear, according to our druids, and proclaim our many victories to come. No matter who our enemies may be, our triumph will be certain as we move to take our rightful place as the rulers of Icenia. Now to find somewhere to lead our troops and fulfill our destiny. Now to find a nation to conquer. Oh, I've already found one. Damn it! They're friends with Briganti again. <laughs> and the migratory tribe will drag Coritania in. But, but, 
could declare war on them because they will only bring in the other Coritania. Let's go ahead and send this army over to here. So we only need 5k for this. So let's go ahead and set you up over here. We've got you over here suffering from attrition. Not so good. Let's pull you down here. I'm trying to figure out like where I would go, right? Like at 9,900 over there, what's your morale looking like? 0.9. All right, so they're not... Uh, ready to fight either, so I could actually post up over there and roll in as soon as possible. I want to see what they're up to over here. Let's go ahead and move up to here. Almost ready to lay claim over here. I'm so glad that war didn't affect my, um... Uh, light infantry defense buff? Sure, we'll accept this offer for now. Make a little bit of money in the meanwhile. But yeah, I'm so glad my, um... Ah, these guys are gonna suffer attrition. So glad my, uh, my, my, my... Oh, I forget my train of thought. Completely lose my train of thought. Lost my train of thought. Okay, so you're suffering from attrition up there. Let's go ahead and split up a little bit. Like, I'll probably try to take over this and this, right? And then move up this way. My navy will hopefully arrive up there soon, and we'll see what's going on. Oh, Civil War time, looks like. Civil War time, okay. Brigantia is still their ally. I don't have a claim or anything yet. 181, come on, baby, hurry up. This stuff stresses me out. <laughs> Why are we losing, man? We'll be gaining 65 each month. I think we might be at like a perfect balance, basically. Oh, no, right, right. It's because men are going to the armies. Everyone's right. Read the read the same line and thought it meant both things. Obviously doesn't make any sense, but... All right, this is interesting, folks. They're raising a bunch of heavy cavalry and stuff. We'll see how this goes. It's too bad that the revolt triggered, actually, because now their armies are going to be at full morale, which is less than ideal. But let's see what happens here. Wish I had more eyes. Could go up to there. God, look at the, the, like the troop positioning. Ugh. Probably send these guys up there. These guys in here. These guys up there. Okay. What's the deal here? It's scary though. I mean, I'm a little worried about the situation at hand. A little worried. Who's disloyal now? Oh, same province. Uh, their loyalty gain is a little bit slower because of the new area we just got. I mean, I could... I don't want to waste any uh, oratory power right now. We could assimilate them. They're still on the up, so it's fine. But just I need to keep that in mind. Or down the line. Alright, I think we can speed things up a little bit. Playing a little too cautiously here. Let's pull on down here. Ooh. Right, they are at war with Brigantia. Brigantia, what are you doing? You're dealing with revolts north and south. You're not having a good time at all. Not having a good time at all. Pick the wrong friends, it seems. Where's your max morale? 3.1. Minus 3.3. .3. Alright, so at least I'll always have more morale than them. These compositions are not the best. These are my two tribes, like chieftains. This one as well. These are my real armies, really. Go ahead and fabricate the claim here. This I don't like. I mean, I'll, I'll overpower them. No problem. 12, 9, even 4 here. I'll overpower them, no problem. Oof, I'm a little worried though. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. I shouldn't say worried. I'm a little nervous. Hide you. Let's tuck you away. Don't want to lose my navy if I don't have to. The revolt is doing well for itself, it seems. Oh, not for much longer. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Spoke too soon. I think it's time for war. Take Cortania. Their only ally is the revolt. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay. Um, let's do it. Not what I was expecting, if I'm completely honest, but... I'll take it. Move our ships up there so we can maybe use them to transport over. Move into the revolt as well. Do that. 
Take some land from them. Uh, yes, I will accept your offer. It'll make me money. Yeah, the ship's not big enough. Alright, 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 alright. Feeling good, feeling good. Why can't you... Do this fortress, sorry. Not a problem. Level 1, I'm guessing. Level 1. I see that over here, by the way. It's a little bit of a bummer, because I was hoping for this land too, but... Without having to drag Brigantia into it, but hey, it is what it is. Ooh, oh no. Seemingly out of nowhere, a great storm has rocked the coast by Dene Denevia. Denevia? The devastation caused was severe, and the city chiefs have sent a request for urgent aid, taking whatever form we were able to spare. Send them funds, send them helping hands, or send them nothing. They lose 20 loyalty. And a lot of other stuff. We'll send them funds. We have the money. Do it. Let's help them rebuild. They are our people, after all. Move through. Unfortunately, Cortania will take this back. I could try and stay there and cause enough attrition that they don't get it back, but I don't think I'll be able to actually do that. I'd love to destroy this uh, army right now, but unfortunately that is not an option. Yeah, I guess this fortress has to go down first. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. A little bit of border gore is going to take place. I apologize in advance. Apologize in advance. But I think we're doing well enough. This is where a bigger navy would be helpful because I would be able to um, use the boats to go across. I could still take 2,000 across, but I, I worry that this 9,500 will just ravage them, for lack of a better term. Right, once the siege ends, though, we'll be in a good spot. I mean, we're already in a good spot. This war is basically over. Now, Coritania proper, so to speak, might be a little upset by what I'm doing here because they're about to lose land that used to be theirs. But hey, they'll have to deal. <laughs> they'll just have to deal. Our people have known war for far too long. Oh man, Brigantia's this alliance is growing larger and larger. And that Demnonian Revolt continues. Pretty interesting, actually. Lasted for a while. We're good down here. This 9k is moving into us, but I'm going to wreck them. The terrain is to our benefit. We have higher morale. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine here. Go on, come at me. Oh, it's, it's not even going to be a fight. Okay, it's going to be a fight. <laughs> We got this. I really need to spend some time to recover afterwards. Pull you back out. I need to take more attrition than necessary. Once we have this, we should actually be able to sue for peace right away, I imagine. I imagine. I wish I had faster research. I do need to look into that. I'm tempted to pull these guys back, but I don't want to just lose this province pointlessly. Especially if these guys get this and I'm not paying attention, they will take it back and that that would be unfortunate. Alright, come on. The siege is almost done. I could speed things up a little bit. No need to go so slow all the time. Get up a little bit more. I'm just super worried that out of nowhere there's going to be a giant uh, war declared on me or something and then I'm screwed. Like, there are some big alliances down... Oh... Oh, he hello, hello. Oh, hello, okay. Ah, damn. I mean, I c might be able to take on these three nations without too much issue. It's funny, like, trying to find the ideal target for... Like, Dabunya. Demetia and Trinovantia. Their alliance together is pretty good. Oh, wait, hold on. No! That land was to be mine! The bitter civil war in Cartania has finally come to an end with the loyal forces of Inamicus Corez. Well, I mean, whatever. This is... We, we know what happened there. Uh, the Ekrams were largely irrelevant to us. What? Not irrelevant to us. We were literally trying to take some of that land. Ah, damn it. That's too bad. But hey, at least migratory Cortania is gonna fall. <laughs> at least there's that. I'm surprised that um, these guys didn't get dragged in. 
You'd expect, maybe it was because of the Civil War or whatever, but I mean, hey, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take anything I can get. Happily. Right, exiled army has returned. Their morale has to bump up a little bit. We're a little fragile up there if anything were to go wrong, but I don't think it will. All right, so my, my borders are really hideous. Siege of Lindum is won. Beautiful. I don't think we can just sue for peace right now. Just give up, guys. Come on. Oh, Legentium. This one? All right. Get you up there. Get you up to here. And I could just roll in and destroy this army first. Oh, apparently not. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna play it like that. Taxing Druids. Oh, okay. So they are part of our society and should pay as we do, is what I'm thinking of doing. Lose a little bit of loyalty with uh, the High Priest. Do I need religious power that badly? No. I'd rather have more money. She's loyal enough as it is. And her loyalty is increasing over time, because we're friends. So, yeah, they're part of our society and should pay as we do. Let's go ahead and get this army down over here. I mean, I could see if these guys are willing to give me access. Okay, answer is no. <laughs> Fair enough. I want to make sure that I don't lose sight of uh, that army either. As my reinforcements roll in. Okay, still just the 9k over here. Nope, no, no. Don't tempt fate. Don't, don't tempt fate. <laughs> Stay back. Reinforcements are arriving. Our proper war bands are, are arriving. I hate these moments of like not having vision. Let's go ahead and split in half and send one up there and one keep one down here, just to give us full vision. You can only see what's adjacent, so you can see this sea territory has that adjacency, which is why we'll be able to see. Ooh, what are you doing? Control change. That's because I have this fortress and it's uh, unoccupied. Okay, pull you back. Or maybe you'll just sit there and die. Oof, this isn't going to go well. The commander is much better than ours. This is the one that doesn't like me. Nope, nothing I can do there. Alright, well this is this might be a little painful. Might be a little painful. I have the advantage of the tactic, but it's just the marshal is way too high for me to overcome. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. fine. What's our marshal here? Eight? And yours was what? Nine. Okay, so you'll be slightly better there. Just need to make sure that this army isn't able to run around and hit everything, basically. Just give up, though. Just give up. We'll accept all of this. Come on, you're migratory. I'm helping you get rid of your home. <laughs> trying to help here. It's so weird that... Uh... Oh, they've got a lot of guarantees. Oh, no, that's me. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm like, wait, hold on a second. I seen you. What are you talking about I seen you for? My bad. Move up to there. This army is heading towards me, seriously? Okay. Comedy Central over here. They're gonna try and get the siege going, but we'll beat them to that game. Our siege will complete before theirs will. We're at negative 21. They're gonna start at, what, negative 42 or whatever. We'll be fine. Taking more attrition than I'd like to, of course, but... Or they'll start at negative 35, and they'll catch up to me a little bit faster than I was expecting. Well, I can send these two back over here. So we can move in if we have to. Speed time up a little bit. Oh, goddamn. Move you out of the way. The small army is going to be annoying as well. Easy attrition here. But it is just our uh, clan retinues, so, you know, I have no personal attachment to them, so to speak. In fact, them being weakened is better for me. Like, if they lose cohorts, then their loyalty change is not as significant and stuff, so it's better for me. 
All right, so we're still ahead of the game there. All right, we're gonna move in there for an attack, it seems. Ugh, too late. It too late. I mean, it was over three grand versus 200. I was just worried about the fact that I had no commander there. Okay, supply shortage up there. We're gonna arrive here, then we're gonna roll that army. I'd rather not, because we'd lose so many men to uh, the battle. I'm only gonna do that if I feel like they might win that siege. Only then. If and only if. For sure. 9.93, 9.95. This is actually where we have the most. Are you having another revolt? Are you kidding me? You guys need to do something about your problems here. This guy's actually progressing through that siege a lot faster than I am, which is annoying. Pull back, because I noticed that the sword and shield was yellow as well. So the game isn't very confident about my chances of winning. Come on. He just won. Pull it down. And... Just give up. Not a valid treat. There it is. There we go. No contest. Money. Very little aggressive expansion. And... I didn't even have to lose any people to that battle. It was like a pretty good deal to me. There it is. All right. Uh, the Cortania elite. I mean, is it really their elite? Accepted our peace offer. Do we do the same as we've done before? I think so. Keeping our aggressive expansion low is, I think, the way to go. Our popularity is fine enough. Banish those of class and put the rest to the sword. Nice. All right. Now this revolt here. See, what really annoys me is that I declared, I'd fabricated a claim on this area. Oh no, you know what, actually, Cortania is only up there, so this is fair. But the way claims don't carry over between conquests. You claim a certain territory from, uh, you claim a certain territory from the nation rather than the territory itself, which doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, if I say that the province of, say, Cortania belongs to me, then all of, I should be able to declare war on anybody who has any bit of Coritanian soil and say, no, this is rightfully mine. Look at this, look at these papers or whatever, right? Uh, but that is not the case. Now, we do need to deal with loyalty a little bit. This is negative 0.09. This is negative 0.03. Easy enough to fix, I think. We just have to assimilate some people. Won't be too much of a problem. Um, sure. Wow, zero. Bam. Is that enough? Nope. Okay. Uh, why, why are you so unhappy? Jeez. Oh. Okay, good enough. Could do a bit more. Now, Pernovia is alright. An upset citizen. Simulate the citizen here. 76%. That's gotta be good enough. Nope, not good enough. I need some happier citizens. The more I think about it, the more I realize that because happier citizens will mean happier will mean more like research and commerce output. Are you guys seriously trying to cause me some trouble here? Come on. There we go. That's all we needed. It's a lot of oratory power used. Unfortunately. No more claims for a little while. Well, at least this is all going up. Civilization effort. I'm wondering, actually, if I can change some of these now. Like, we changed Icenia itself to be acquisition of wealth to help us out a fair bit. Um, also, winning wars helped us out a fair bit. But... I mean... Civilization level here is like 10 roughly across the board. Yeah, across the board. I wouldn't mind it being higher. I don't think it's necessary. Like, I wonder if I prefer something else. I don't have the oratory power for it right now, but... But, like, acquisition of wealth, even, or... Encourage trade, maybe make some more money that way. Like, what kind of trade goods are we looking at now? More horses, so that's good. More fish, some hemp, uh, some earthenware that helps with research points. Great. Leather, okay. Livestock, okay, 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 okay. You know what? This is actually a good plot of land. Just about to hit uh, one more pop. 
I don't mind this, actually. I'm happy with this. We seem to be growing pretty well over here as well. I think it's time, maybe, actually, to consider... Um, getting some more citizens. This tribesmen are only good for... Well, they're good for tax and manpower. It's like, I also want some slaves. But we don't do that, <laughs> evidently. We don't do that. Wish you could demote tribesmen. Imagine just walking up to somebody being like, Hey, yeah, I understand you've lived pretty carefree up until now, but... We're gonna change that. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can't find a place to keep this army all together. 11.36 over there. 10.88 over there. And we need 10.82, so let's go ahead and head this way. That should be good enough to keep these guys alright, and I think I'm good to move time forward. Starving Pops at Aque Arnim... Oh, that's why. It must just be... There we go. It was just because of that siege that was happening there. Alright, good enough, good enough, good enough. And over here, what's going on? So you don't have Brig... You do have Brigantia as an ally still. Damn. Brigantia is making some progress up here against, uh, what is this? Votadinia? Is that a War of Conquest? No, it's a part of the Damnonian Revolt. That revolt has gone on forever. Jeez. Be a bit more efficient. Oritania might be my next target still. We'll see. Like, if the revolt wins... They will not have Brigantia as an ally. I doubt the revolt will win, though they have 10.3k. This could actually be really interesting. That's a pretty big... That's a pretty big army. If they push aggressively, the revolt might actually win. Oh, we'll keep our eyes on that. We might want to declare another war very soon. Need to be careful. Uh, okay, a religious proceeding. A struggle between the religious echelons of our society and the peasants has recently come into light, as the populace at large feel like the religious ceremonies are inaccessible and distant. On the other hand, our high priest and her attendants demand the distance needed to do their jobs properly and argument and, and, and argue the peasants have no rights to the inner workings of our religious ceremonies. Oh, hmm. Okay, so either the priest will be left alone and will lose his stability, national unrest will go higher, but omen power and duration is longer, and our high priest will be happy. A religious proceeding through the city will appease both sides, right? Or the peasants are right, it's time to open the gates of the temples. We gain a stability, we lose omen power and omen duration, but that high priest loses some loyalty. Now we can fix that with a little bit of money, right? We're friends anyway, so it'll be okay. Uh, so I think we'll go with the peasants are right. It is time to open the gates of the temples. That extra stability will be really helpful, I think. And it'll probably help us significantly as well as far as all this negativity is concerned. Yeah, let's do it. Let's open the gates. Our realm is more stable. Yes, thank you. Hopefully it'll make a difference here. Like, I don't know what the... Like, some of the unrest was pretty high, apparently. Jeez. This should, this should be good. We'll see when uh, November ends. How people are feeling. Demetia is not having a good time over here. Oh, what's wrong with these guys? Might have to assimilate somebody else. There we go. Plus 0.32, plus 0.39. There we go. Definitely the right call. Because the thing is... You see how, like, all the, the cities that are listed here are now, well, mostly in green? So let's look at Burium and Borneum, right? Who wants access? Brigantia? I don't know if I want to give you access, though. Do you want access to help crush the revolt? Oh, I don't want to anger these guys. They're pretty big. Fine, I'll accept the offer. Um, okay, so we were looking at Burium. So you see here, the 2.15 unrest is what's causing some... Uh, disloyalty in this province. But everywhere else that doesn't have unrest is helping. And the way this is calculated is it looks at the unrest, and if it's zero, that's great. It does plus 0.1, and then it multiplies it by the percentage of the population of the province that this one city um, it, like, is, is part of. That makes sense. So, the more people, so actually, what I could do right now is I've got like a couple of places with zero unrest. I could send all of the population from like here, for example. In fact, you know what? Let's send some of these freemen 
move them to Gobanium. Can I? The entire province is disloyal. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. I'll have to wait until it's above 50%, if I'm not mistaken. But hypothetically, I could do that to reduce some of those negatives, because those negatives are so strong, because the disloyal provinces, um, or the unhappy provinces, have uh, a lot of people. Uh, who? What? Uh, Parisia has claims on Coritania. Excuse me. Oh, no. I don't like this. I don't like that at all. Go ahead and split up over here a little bit. Eventually... And you... I'm gonna make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs, and I feel like we've broken these Parisian eggs. I also feel like there's a juicy opportunity down here right now with this Koritani revolt. Looking like it's about to end. 184. Oratory power kind of makes me wish I hadn't uh, assimilated. I wish I'd known that that event was coming up. I wish I could see the future. Because this is a chance to swallow up this little gap in our territory. Again, I I apologize for any and all border gore offenses that are taking place today. <laughs> we knew it was coming, but... Uh... Hey, once they take this fortress, holy crap. Might actually be uh, GG for, for Koritania. The revolution might actually win. Keep an eye on this, and let's keep an eye on this, because they are building galleys up there. Okay, now. Okay, now. They're allied with Brigantia, which is what concerns me, but... Am my size. Brizzy, who else do you have as an ally? What's it, Dinia? Okay. Okay. Oh, is that the person who was disloyal to me? No. She just looks similar. Okay, so this, uh, this is a little, a uh, little, a little, 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 little scary. This is a little scary. The war with Parisia means war with Brigantia. And vote to Dinia as well, and I'm a little worried because of our manpower situation. We're like five months away, more, from having our armies fully replenished, and then our manpower will replenish, and then we'll be able to recruit more cohorts. Okay, all right, uh, let's focus on this. Uh, so they found, what, a gold crown? Okay, uh, everyone here is loyal enough to me, so I could say... It belongs to the gods, get more religious power for no reason other than I want to. I don't want the tyranny is the thing. I, I, the money would be nice. We are making profits right now, though. Money would be nice, but I don't want the tyranny. So, you know what? It belongs to the gods. Oh, feel kind of gross how we treat our loyal people. Just a little. Okay, I am eagerly awaiting this the, the completion of this revolt oh has this situation changed as well no however you well Durotriga is big these guys are big and I don't like that they don't like our aggressive expansion right now which is like I do need to be a lot more careful about that it's at 10 that's already causing me so much trouble um Parisia might move in to me. What are you guys? 6.429. What is this? What the? What? Brigantian revolt? Everything's falling apart. Everyone's having a revolt. Um. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Who would I rather take land from? Because I'm about to get enough oratory power. I think I would rather cut Brigantia down to size, if I'm completely honest. Because they're the threat to the north here. So if I were to move up and get ready to push in as soon as we have enough oratory power. Oh, Brigantia is already pushing back. This revolt is not going to last very long. 
It'll probably be a waste of oratory power, honestly. We can put a claim down there. But at least here we'll be able to take everything. Still a long time to go. Still a long time to go. I mean, I could just declare war without a Cassus Belly. Oh my god, I could just declare war without a Cassus Belly. Because again, Brigantia is a big threat. And what, uh, horses, hemp, wood, wild game. They'd still have access to iron and horses up there, but they won't have the surplus anymore. Guys, I think I need to do this. I think I need to go in there with a, with a war without a Cassus Belly. We've got the numbers. I think we just have to take this fortress over here. The people here are happy enough, and they're getting happier, so getting another chunk of land is not going to be that much of a problem for me. And it would cut Brigantia down to size a little bit. Yeah, you know what? I think I might need to do that. Rather than go to war with the Koratani Revolt. With the Koratani Revolt, I'll have enough time, I think, to uh, to actually uh, fabricate a claim and declare war. So they can wait. Because they don't have any friends or anything. But Brig Brigantia proper has friends. Lots of friends. Which is not good. The Revolt does not. You know what? I think we're going to do this. Oh, God. I hope I don't regret this. Oh. Yep. Here we go. Yet again. This is... I'm asking for trouble. Let's do it. Okay, stability drop. I'm aware we've lost a Magistrate. Fair enough. Not a problem. You get in there. Nice. That's actually quite good. Uh, Alright, we need to move on up to here. Get that siege happening right away. Let's move you into there. And let's move you through. We cannot. Fair enough. You can stay there then. That's our real army, though. That's the problem. I wonder if you would give us military access. Of course not. Oh, just a step away. I could actually give Brigantia a little bit of money, maybe, and then ask for military access, and then I could push through their land. Just a touch of cash. There we go. We'll ask for military access. 4th of December. Also an important day for me. A lot of important days coming up. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Excuse me. You're supposed to be going up here. Hold on. Ah. Oh, are you kidding me, man? I should have known that was going to happen. I should have known that was going to happen. But at least I lost nothing other than... Uh, other than a touch of stability. And, and, and Koratania here is still... Uh, and I lost some gold. Okay, I gave, I gave some gold... I lost some stability. But Cortania here is still on its lonesome, has no allies, has a truce with Brigantia, which is interesting. We'll see who they decide to ally as I wait for my oratory power to fill up a little bit. 184 to fabricate a claim. And I am able to call down another omen. I wonder if I want money or if I want discipline. Because I'm about to go into another war, it might be a good idea to get some more discipline. Or you know what, it might be a good idea to get some more manpower. Let's do the Blessing of Tutatis. Yeah, why not? I mean, I can think of why not, but... Help speed things up a little bit. No winter attrition here, alright, good, good, good. The Bunya, I might be able to change this soon, actually. 83 is pretty loyal. Don't you dare make any allies. It's so crazy to see what happened to Koratania, just like that. How the powers change. I'm a little annoyed about the Brig Brigantia thing. That was such a golden opportunity. Such a golden opportunity. I mean, hey, we... Oh, we can't be allies. They're still big. They're still small, rather. I mean, I guess I want them to be bigger as a result of that. These. Now, civic power is just piling on up. You know, we might as well go ahead and do that. 
and that, and that. We just got so much civic power. Don't need to be moving too many people or forming too many trade routes or anything like that, so no harm there. Okay, almost ready to clear this war. There's still got no allies. 6.4k and their morale is low. All right, let's go ahead and position ourselves for this, though. Gonna suffer a touch of attrition, I think. Yeah, a little bit of attrition. Oh, no, we'll be fine. should stay there. Sorry. Two more two more months and then we should be able to claim this province and then fix some of the, the border issues. Let's put it that way. Border issues, yes. Now again, this fortress will help conquer some land and uh, if we can shut this fortress down then this fortress will help conquer some land as well. well. That'll be nice and helpful. We just have to push in over here and we'll come in against their army from all sides. Chariots, some cavalry, we'll be fine. Okay, let's to the next month so I can fabricate this claim, please. There we go. No allies. Yep. Fabricate claim. Uh, it's all mine, but we'll go with Dobunya. It is all mine, though. <laughs> For the record. This fortress will capture this. This fortress will capture that. I'm going to conquer this. All right. 7th of July. 7th of July. Are we ready for this? I think we're ready for this. We should be fine. Their morale is low. Their leaders aren't that great. They've got no allies. Take Dabanya. Let's go. There it is. And let's make sure we're moving right away. You go up there. Let's get you moving right in. Let's get you moving right in there. you come down here. Any second now, they're going to, uh, there we go, try to gain their morale. I could just send my army in there. I think we'll probably beat them pretty handily. Speed it up a little bit. Oh, we won't. What is this? Growing friendship. Senatus Morganus appears to be developing a strong camaraderie with Latavis Akka. Sometimes it can be advantageous to have a friend watching one's back, but it is not too late to avoid this situation. Who are you? Tribal chief of... Your tribal chief of Icenia. Okay. Uh, Latavis Akka. Let's see. You're none of these tribal chiefs. But you know what? I could use more friends. Uh, Splendid. A oh, wife of a tribal chief. Okay. Definitely don't want a rivalry. Splendid. Sounds good to me. I don't mind getting along with my people. Stop you from going in there. Got these armies coming through. Got the siege happening over there. All right, excellent. This army should be able to take care of that army, no problem. Get it up a little bit. Wait this long. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that'll be an easy victory. They have a stronger army. Really? Interesting. Interesting statement. Let's uh, change that then, shall we? <laughs> I mean, this war is basically already over. War score's already at 40. There we go. And this army's gonna drop. And... Down it goes. We're victorious. Army's gonna run away. Try to minimize our attrition and stuff. If possible. Put you down there. Alright. Good stuff. I don't like this army up here. Okay, it's not full morale. I was worried that it was at full morale because then it's like, are you are you readying for war? Because just don't. We've conquered this. Let's head on up to here or up to here and anywhere except for where there's going to be attrition. Pull you down there. Really, these armies are useless. <laughs> About my main army. Maybe send you up there. Capturing this, all right. Speed things up a little bit. I always forget to like speed things up sometimes. I always forget to sometimes speed things up. Great English. 
They're decapping this. I could try and move in there to throw them off. There we go. Guaranteed the victory there. Alternatively, I could just stay back and relax and not lose so many men and women to this war. Let's go. Battle should be pretty quick. Yeah, not a problem. We didn't lose that many. And you up there. All right, we're giving chase. You're just going to camp in my capital. Sure, man. Sure, try. Do your worst. Do your worst. <gasps> Sinatus falls ill. Oh, no. That's a tribal chief. I could seek treatment. Costs a lot of money. We're very healthy right now, so I'll leave it for now. But we're also... You know, we're not a terrible ruler. We're not that great either. Oh, not paying attention to this, but... That went about as well as I expected. Which is very... Very well. Move you up there as well. Siege is almost over. Starving pops. That's probably because of a siege or something. Alright. We're good. He's seriously coming back all already. Ooh, hello. Alright. Alright, I could sacrifice them. Uh, increase happiness. Lose some centralization, though. Releasing... Gain some loyalty. Psh. Hmm. Ah, okay, for now, let's just keep you in there. Deal with them as we see fit later. Okay, let's get out of here. Don't need to suffer any more attrition. Let's get this siege done, please. Battle's over. They're dead. War is over. War was over before it started. Over before it started. 79 is the war score, but we know what this actually means. Mine and... Oh, he's... Fine. Using a technicality. I mean, I could just do that. I just prefer clicking on... Vernimentum. Is that this one? Yeah, okay, fine. You know what? Let's do it properly. Let's do it properly. Come on. There we go. All right. Time for some peace. That's mine. That's mine. All your money is mine. For aggressive expansion. We really need to cool it. We really need to cool it down. Okay. Excellent. Slow it down. No one's suffering from attrition. Our holdings have become rather large. People are overall pretty happy across the board. So that's not really a concern. Uh, we might want to consider actually changing some of these uh, policies to, to making us more money or something. We're doing well financially, actually. Uh, manpower is a big problem for me, though. I need to do something to replenish my armies and prepare myself for the inevitable war that I'm going to have probably against Brigantia um, and all of their allies. I'm a little worried about that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about that. My... I have no allies. I'm only guaranteeing people I have no allies. And if they all come at me with 12, 14, 11... Like 40 plus people against my 32? Jeez, that's not good. That would not be good at all. I need to wipe out some of these allies, don't I? I have to wipe out some of these alliances. Like, go to war with Decanglia and Brigantia at the same time, rather than have them declare war on me, or declare war on Parisia and have their allies all join. This is a pretty... still a very tense situation. I'm actually really nervous about... May 14th of May, another important date in my life. Um, sorry, we've hit, like, an important relationship date. My birthday and my mom's birthday <laughs> as pause dates uh, on this session. It's just, I think it's funny. Um, anyway, sorry, back on topic. I'm in a pretty tense situation. Um, to the south of me, I have people that don't like me because I've really been expanding really too quickly. This is not good, guys. Money. Money for everyone. Yes. Hate me less. What about you? We haven't given you a gift yet? Have a gift. Yes. Happiness. Rotriga. Oh, these guys really don't like me. They're allied with Demetria. Oh, hello. What's going on here? These guys used to be buddy-buddy, but not anymore. Something happened there. Something happened there. 
what you're saying is I could go to war with Demetria, or I could go to war with Jurotriga and wipe Demetria off the map? Okay. Interesting proposition. Interesting proposition. Okay, so I, I guess my south here is a little bit safer now, but my north... I don't know, folks, I'm very tense about this situation here. Mainly, not because of sizes or anything, but because of manpower. I've really gone on war after war, and I feel like I've set myself up for failure, so I'm a little nervous here. I'm very nervous here. But, we'll see how that plays out. Well, hopefully we're not going to see how that plays out next time. Hopefully we'll see how it progresses next time. Because this is where we're going to call it a session. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, definitely a lot more warring than I expected. I thought this was going to be a calmer episode. But no, instead we have grown rather massive. We look like a bit of a rhino now. Like that's the mouth and that's like the horn or something. Anyway, uh, and that's the ear. Uh, anyway, anyway. Um... <laughs> Our name is much larger. It looks nicer as well. It's not this tiny little thing over here. So pretty successful session, I think. As always, if you guys would like to see more, make sure you let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. I have been asked to look around the map at the end so we can all see what's going on in the rest of the world. So I'm just going to do a quick look around over here. Looks like a fair bit of progress is happening. Ooh, some interesting stuff is happening, actually. I mean, like the whole Thrace thing. Thrace. Thrace. I was going to say Thracian conquest went half and half there. Thrace is doing quite well for itself. Rome is growing, but it looks like Sinonia here is doing something here as well. Uh, Etruria is still alive for some reason. Okay, lots of funky stuff. Pictonia here has grown quite big. Interesting stuff going on. Interesting stuff going on. But hopefully the most interesting stuff is happening up here with Icenia, and I hope you guys have been enjoying it again. Drop your likes and comments. It does make a very big difference. A massive thanks does go out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. You really help keep things alive and running smoothly. Cannot express my gratitude enough. You make this possible. And a massive thanks, of course, goes out to each and every one of you for watching as well. Until next time. Cheers.